All right, welcome back to the Skymaster Viperjet build. It's a little cool out here in the shop, but I should be able to get some stuff done this evening. But I'm going to move on to the ailerons. Um, this is the outer part of the wing. Um, just just like the elevators, make sure uh, you you know there's not you can't tell which is the top or the bottom other than this little tab. This is on the bottom. So don't cut your servo arm access point and the actual wrong side. But this one's a little bit easier because the servo only goes on uh, one side. The elevators, you could easily do that. So I actually wrote on there top and bottom so I didn't forget. Um, but um, I'm going to be using a Fataba VLS-172. Focus! Why are you not focusing? I don't know what's going on. Let's see. Huh. I don't know why that's not focusing. There it goes. But, um, nothing crazy here. I'm using my own rods. Uh, these are stronger rods. I'm using uh, my own ball ends, uh, the servo arms, and these double arms. Not using the, the stock ones. They're just too short and they don't go in far enough, in my opinion. So, just like the elevators, I'm going to be using this hardware. Um, for it. Uh, I don't really know how you would set that up with the clevis just because of the angles of this when that that aileron moves it's not going to move perfectly straight and be stay parallel with the um, servo arm so it would bind your clevis up so like even if it's perfectly aligned here when you rotate it because you're at an angle you're at an angle to the uh, hinge line when you rotate this aileron up and down, it will change the angle of that. And their ball ends are bearings, like a normal bearing that you would have on a motor or something. So it doesn't have a ball in it. So it can't flex, it can't pivot this way. It's only, you know, it only rotates this way. So you'd get, you know, as soon as you moved it, it would start binding. So I don't know how they would use a clevis on these things, but. Unless they just install, no, I don't know. Like I said, it, it would bind no matter what you did because you're not parallel to the actual pivot line. So, but uh, that's it. The the rudder servos in. So I've got the two elevators and and horizontal stabs done. Got the rudder servo in. Um, I've been a little busy this week. I had painting going on in the house, finishing up the house and. Um, I've been playing with 3D printer stuff, beating my head on that, trying to figure it, that stuff out. And uh, I've been working stuff with the shop. Actually, uh, kind of a good thing. It only took a year, but it looks like I've got brick. So hopefully here soon I can get some bricks thrown on this thing. And once that's done, I can actually do the inside, finish it up. So get lighting, get heating and cooling get all the um, insulation and drywall up and start working on like outfitting the shop so but I'm gonna get to this uh, while I can it's a little cool out here um, so you guys take it easy and uh, the next video I'll, I'll show you you know once everything's installed this one don't do that I'm not doing like I did last time this one goes in this way or actually goes this way it doesn't go in this way so I've already kind of marked, measured, and half and measured in. So that's where the mark will be, or the or cut for the servo arm. So it's going to go in like this. All right, you guys have a good one.